In this video, we're going to be solving for the net torque on a current carrying loop in a magnetic field. So if you take a look at this loop, we have a current of 0.8 amps. And as it is coming around, it is going to be going around clockwise around this loop. So if we take a look at the current, it goes to the left, up, to the right, down, and then back to the left again. So each side of the loop has to be treated a little bit differently because the direction of the current is going to be slightly different. So if we use our right hand rule, we are going to notice that the direction of the current and the magnetic field, which is the blue arrows over here, are parallel to one another at the bottom of the loop and the top of the loop. Therefore, there is no magnetic force being applied to the loop at those points. So the maximum force is going to be applied when the magnetic field and the direction of the current are perpendicular to one another. So at this point over here and this part over here of the loop. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, left end of the loop over here. So if we use our right hand rule where we use our thumb, fingertips and palm, then our hand is going to look something like this. It's going to be our thumb pointing up our fingertips pointing to the right and then our palm is going to be facing down into the page. That's a horrible hand, but you can see that the thumb is pointing up with the current. The fingertips are pointing to the right with the magnetic field and then your palm will be facing down. So that means the force is going to be applied inward. On the flip side, um, we have um, the current going down. So if you basically just flip your thumb downwards and your thumb is gonna be pointing downwards and then the rest of your hand is going to be pointing in a direction like this. And in order to do that, you have to flip your hand so it's pointing away from the screen so that your thumb points down with the current and your fingertips point to the right with the magnetic field. In that case, your hand is gonna be pointing out. So the force is gonna be going outwards for the right side of the loop. Now what those do is, although the forces are in exact opposite directions, they're actually working together because they're both pushing um, the loop to go counterclockwise, or excuse me, clockwise. So if you look at it from the aerial view up top, it's gonna be rotating around like this because it's gonna be pushing out of the page or out of the screen and then into the page or into the screen over here and then both working together to push it over here. So both of those torques are going to be combined to have one final net torque. So how we're going to get that, we are going to take a look at um, a couple different things. First of all, to find the torque, it is going to be force times our R value, which is our lever arm, times the sine of theta. And for both of these points over here, and over here, it is exactly perpendicular, so it'd be the sine of 90 degrees, which would be equal to 1. So that's not going to alter our torque uh, mathematically. And then we have a um, R, our radius. Um, so that is our lever arm. So that is the distance from the axis of rotation. The axis of rotation would be right in the center here. So if the length of one of the sides is 0 0.2, then this value is going to be 0 0.1. Now, as for our force, um, our force we do not have. We're going to have to use a formula, which is going to be um, BIL, the magnetic field times the current times the length of the wire. And we have the magnetic field, which is equal to 0 0.5 Teslas. We have the current of 0 0.8, and then we have the length of the wire for each side of those loops, which is 0 0.2 meters. So if we take the product of each of these three and then multiply it by our 0.1 for our um, lever arm, we have a torque of 0 0.008 
Newton meters. And what we're going to do to finish it off is to find the net torque, the net meaning like the total um, that is acting on our loop. We are going to take that number and multiply it by 2. And the reason I multiplied it by two is because we have all of the same conditions on the opposite side, but just being pushed in a different direction. And as I said, um, this force over here that's pushing the loop outwards and this part of the loop that's pushing inwards are working together to twist it clockwise. So you're going to combine those two torques, um, which are both going to equal 0 0.008 Newton meters and multiply that by two to get the total net torque of 0 0.016 Newton meters. So I hope that was helpful in helping use the right hand rule to figure out how a loop is rotated and also how to find the net torque for a loop with those two forces being applied to each of those sides. So thank you for watching and listening.